Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you a, a possible pre-approved offer through Wells Fargo, their platinum card that offers a zero APR for 18 months on purchases and balance transfers. So you can get a credit limit, a larger credit limit of $15,000 with this card. Now, if you're new to my channel, I bring you information on how to improve your credit score no matter where you are on your credit journey and also how to leverage your credit to make passive income. Now, I also have a seminar that will be coming up on September 18th, 2021. If you're interested in joining for that seminar, where I will be talking about how to increase your credit score and also get more credit card approvals. Now, if you are not aware, there's a lot of scammers on YouTube, so be careful. There's someone that is using my picture to reply to comments. So make sure if you see my picture, make sure it's highlighted with my name. And if you're not sure, click on the picture and make sure that you're looking at the subscribers to see if that's a phony account. So let's jump into this. Now, this Wells Fargo Platinum card is designed for those who have higher interest debts. So if you're a person that have a higher credit card debt with higher interest rates, this offer you, this card offer you zero APR for 18 months. So that gives you an opportunity to pay down or pay off that debt. Now, after the 18 months, the APR on this card will be between 16.49% to 24.49%. The great thing about this credit card you can see if you're pre-qualified. So do you fit in the parameters of a customer that Wells Fargo is looking for, for a credit card or for a profile for this credit card? Now, the benefits of having this card is to help you pay down debt where you can do a balance transfer. So it gives you a long introductory of a balance transfer for up to 18 months. So if you're a person that has student loan debt, other credit card debts, that's a higher interest rate, this can give you time to save money and pay down your debts. So even if you're interested in investing, this can help you transfer that high interest debt to get a zero introductory weight for 18 months and start to pay off your debt and get yourself out of debt. Now, with this card, if you are looking to qualify, they have some features for this card and it's to uh, give you access to your FICA credit score, also a money map, cell phone protection, and card and account activity alerts. Now, the game with this card, uh, you want to know that there are some pros and there's some con cons with this card. One of the strongest pros, it gives you a length of a lengthy zero APR, which is for 18 months. And that applies to both purchases and balance transfers. It's a 0% annual fee. So that is also a great feature of this card. It includes travel insurance and protection, and it comes with cell phone protection. Now, the cons to this card, it is not going to give you any rewards on your spending. So it's no 1.5%, no cash back. And it does charge 3% for foreign transaction fees. Now, the great thing about them offering you to qualify or pre-approval with a soft 
pull pre-approval, you can see if you fit in the parameters of this card. Now, one thing I always tell you guys, when you are looking for credit cards, if you are trying to improve your credit score by adding unsecured lines of credit to your credit profile, you want to minimize your hard inquiries. As I say often, I had a client 740 credit score, but 11 hard inquiry aren't hard inquiries, and he was having a tough time to get any approvals. So if you have in that kind of issue, we do have a free heart inquiry removal package with some letters that you can send out to remove those hard inquiries. But by using soft pull pre-approvals, this will allow you to see if you fit in that credit profile. Now, just keep in mind that a balance transfer free applies 3% to the intro for 120 days from the account opening, then up to 5%, so minimum $5. Also, the variable API or APR would apply to the in introductory offer. So when that ends after that 18 months, you will see you, that 0% APR change. So you will have 18 months at 0% interest, but it will, after that 18 months, readjust to 16.49%. Now, some details about the approval of this card. Generally, with this kind of card, they're looking for higher credit scores, which is starting around 680 and above. The higher the credit score, the better uh, opportunity that you're going to get a larger credit line. So uh, from 3000 up to 15 k and better, but it is going to be dictated on your credit score. Now, some people report that experience is where they're pulling from. I have a Wells Fargo credit card and I got pulled from Experian, but some people have said Experian and they'll pull from Equifax. So they have reported that they pulled from both. So I guess it depends on sometimes the region where you're located. But me, myself personally, it was Experian. Now, also, with this card, you can see if you're pre-qualified. I will leave the link in the description. Now, keep in mind, um, when you are seeing if you're pre-selected for a card offer, if you are already a Wells Fargo online customer, so if you already have a credit card account uh, um, uh, with Wells Fargo, they will like you to hit this yes prompt. I'm not gonna do that because I am a customer and I don't want um, my you know, uh, login information to pop up here. But if you want to bypass this and just fill in this pre-approval, I may suggest that you do so by filling this out on a dis device that you're not logged in. Because once you put in this information and press continue, it still may ask you for your login information and your passcode. So that is up to you. And you can see if you're pre-approved for this card offer, it shouldn't help hurt if you are a person that's trying to qualify to get that low uh, with 0% interest rate for 18 months. Now, here, 18 months. Now, here's the tip. Uh, if you got a higher credit score, over 700. Now, normally I tell you guys, if your credit score is below a 700 credit score, you can simply add an unsecured credit card, which means a credit card without a deposit onto your credit profile and let it report in 30 days and you can see an increase in your credit score by 50 points. But if you are a person that's already over a 700 credit score and you know you want to go for this card, 
you don't want to apply that strategy because adding an unsecured line of credit at that point will decrease your credit score because age of credit is the third largest factor of your credit score. So you don't wanna add any more credit cards or uh, any moves like that before you apply for this card to increase your credit score. Instead, what you wanna do, if you have balances on your credit card, the way you can increase your credit score is by paying a, uh, put a large payment to bring down your utilization. So the um, optimally, if you can bring your utilization down some, uh, especially below 30% and the lower you get 16%, if you can get it down, I know the purpose of getting this card is to transfer some of that credit card debt without paying the interest. But if you can pay some of that down, you can see an increase in your credit score by 40 or uh, 40 points to 60 points just by paying down a nice chunk of your utilization. So it all depends on how much credit card debt, if you have student loan debt, um, you wouldn't wanna pay that off. You wanna aim towards your credit cards to pay a nice payment down so you have your credit score to go higher. So you just wanna make sure you let that report before you apply for this credit card, the payment report on your credit report. So you wanna watch that and get those higher, uh, get that boost or a little, a uh, couple of extra points in your credit score because it can determine how much that or of a credit line for this kind of credit card that you're gonna apply for. So hopefully this is helpful. If you got questions, feel free to hit me at my website. All your questions go directly to my cell phone. If you have a general question, just leave it in the comment description here in the video. So I hope to catch you guys on the next video.